It's been almost three months since Cyclone Nargis ripped through Burma, killing more than 130,000 people, leaving more than two million others homeless. The country continues to rebuild, and a new UN report says Burma needs another one billion dollars to get back on its feet. Well, the Winnipeg-based organization is doing its part to help those in need. International Development Enterprises is working with farmers to get a rice crop planted before the season is over. Joining me now from Winnipeg is Stuart Taylor, Executive Director of International Development Enterprises Canada. Good morning, Stuart. Good morning, Sandy. We are talking about a very, very poor country. So how much damage was done by the cyclone to the well, agricultural base? The, the damage was very extensive and uh, of course as we know the cyclone hit along the coast of, of Burma along what we know as the, the Irrawaddy Delta where the largest river in Burma comes out into the Bay of Bengal and all along that coastline uh, Villages were inundated with uh, tidal surges and, of course, dealing with uh, very, very high winds, destroying most of the houses along the coast. In, in our assessment, what we found is there's a band about 50 miles wide from the coast that was basically completely devastated. Uh, there are some villages where there are maybe only one or two survivors. Uh, as you go further back, uh, there's another band, and also about 50 miles wide, uh, 50 miles back from the coast, where there was also extensive devastation but farmers are actually in a position to be able to plant something this season. And that's where we're now focusing our efforts, is on that, that second band right. uh, where there's some hope of actually getting a rice crop in. All right, so Stuart, you're not talking about giving them money. You're actually talking about being there physically and helping them plant their crops, working with them. Well, we've, we've been in Burma since 2004, and uh, the focus of our work has been working with uh, small farmers, and by that we mean people who are living on less than a dollar a day and cultivating an area generally less than the size of a football field, less than an acre. And uh, so we have quite a lot of experience working with those farmers. Uh, our specialty has been in working with affordable irrigation equipment uh, as well as uh, uh, seeds and other inputs. And so that's what we're really trying to focus in on now is... Uh, helping farmers to get the seed that they need, the fertilizer that they need. Also, a lot of cattle were lost in the, uh, in the cyclone. And as you may know, uh, a, a cow or, or an ox for a farmer in Burma is just like having a tractor here. And so a lot of farmers have not been able to till their fields this year. So we're getting them uh, tillers as well so that they're able to get rid of the weeds and cultivate their fields to get the crop in. And it really is all about self-sufficiency, is it not? The point is to go in there with an irrigation system, help them set it up, provide them with the... Uh, whatever they need in order to get this, this, this going. And, and certainly July is a key month because because we need to have the rice crop planted by the end of this month in order to realize a harvest in October. This is uh, the cyclone hit just when farmers would have been putting their, their seed in the ground. And so at this point, we're, we've really been scrambling to get the, the seed and the fertilizer out there so that farmers can get their crop in in time. Uh, that as, as we move from, from this phase, then we will also get into a third phase, which is the post-monsoon crop phase. And that is once the rice has been planted, once the rice has been harvested, uh, focusing in on other crops like vegetables, etc., that are really the main breadwinners for these farmers. That's where they get most of their income from. And you, you mentioned how much they live on, one dollar a day up to this point. But certainly with your help, I'm told that you'll be setting up a farmer for something like $200, which really is not a lot of money if you compare it to what's going on in Canada. Exactly. So for, for $200, that's about the, the uh, cost of providing one farm family with the seed, the fertilizer, and the access to a tiller that they need in order to get the rice crop in this year. Okay, Stuart, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Thank you very much.